Have you, your loved one, been diagnosed with an early stage hormone positive breast cancer? If that is the case, then stay tuned to learn more. Hi, I'm Dr. Kylie Lo, breast oncologist. Hormone positive breast cancer is the most common type of breast cancer, making up 70% of all breast cancers. So what's different about this common type of breast cancer? Hormone positive breast cancers are tested positive for either the estrogen receptor or the progesterone receptor or both. These are collectively called the hormone receptors. Hormone positive breast cancer cells use these receptors to bind the female hormone estrogen to help them grow and divide. Early stage hormone positive breast cancer means the cancer still remains only within the breast or the lymph nodes. This is in a way good news, but the cancer may still relapse in the future because of remnant microscopic cancer cells in the body. Hence, Additional treatments may be needed to wipe out these microscopic cancer cells, preventing a relapse of the breast cancer. You may ask me, but how do I know if my hormone-positive breast cancer will relapse or not? Whether or not the breast cancer will relapse depends on two things. Firstly, is the breast cancer stage which depends mainly on the size of the breast cancer and how many lymph nodes are involved with cancer. So, a stage 3 breast cancer will have a higher risk of relapsing compared to, say, a stage 1 breast cancer. Secondly, is the behaviour of the hormone-positive breast cancer. Aggressive types of hormone-positive breast cancers can also be HER2-positive and have a higher grade or low or negative progesterone receptors. Having an idea of the risk of relapse and type of breast cancer helps us oncologists decide what is the best treatment for you or your loved ones. So what treatments are available for early hormone-positive breast cancers? Apart from surgery and radiotherapy, patients with early hormone-positive breast cancers can be treated with chemotherapy, anti-hormone therapies, and targeted therapies. Anti-hormone therapies are treatments that target estrogen or the hormone receptors, whereas targeted therapies target the cancer cell machinery. So how do we decide what treatments are best for you or your loved ones? Most patients are treated with surgery first and some will also need radiotherapy depending on the stage of the breast cancer. The decision for what other treatments are needed is usually quite complex and takes into consideration many things such as the risk of relapse, whether someone is premenopausal or postmenopausal, how hormone positive is the cancer, and whether they are competing medical problems. In general, people with high risk hormone positive breast cancers will usually need chemotherapy, more effective anti hormone therapies, which may include additional anti hormone injections for premenopausal women longer durations of treatment and targeted therapies to give them the best chance of beating the cancer in the long term. Whereas people with lower risk hormone positive breast cancers will usually only need anti-hormone therapies which may be milder and for shorter durations. Ultimately, the decision is a complex and highly personalized one. So make sure you speak to your oncologist to receive the treatment that best suits you. I'm Dr. Kylie Lo. Until next time.
If you want to learn more about hormone-positive breast cancers, check out these videos.